I am Thomas again. I am riding for the Council ADCM. Thomas, um, great sprint there. You were very serious. It looks like you've come, you've come to play. Um, the, the team asked me last year to uh, go to, tour to, to the Tour Down Under to try to get some uh, World Tour points. So I trained very well this, uh, this winter, more than uh, the last years. So I have a very good shape at this moment. Not the best shape, but it's, uh, it's uh, very reasonable for, for this uh, time of the year. There were still some seconds left, so the team uh, manager asked me to, to try to take the seconds. But I had to sprint against uh, a lot of good sprinters. But I was in a good wheel and then I could, uh, could uh, come out at the right time. So, you know, I should become a sprinter now. <laughs> Why not? Do you plan that ahead or is it, is it just a decision that's made during the race? Uh, it was a decision made uh, during the race. Normally it's uh, four or five guys that, uh, that are in the early breakaway. Now it was only one, so we knew that it was still uh, two and one second at, the, at, the, at each sprint. I tried my best at two sprints and uh, the, the, the first sprint I was only fourth, but it, it, uh, it gave me some, uh, some confidence that I could try to win the second sprint. And then uh, it's better that you have two, two seconds advantage than uh, two seconds behind. It's, uh, it's always in Tour de Under that uh, the, it's still the till the last day the seconds count and maybe this helps me for for a very good position in the general classification. So it, it, it's definitely a tour that uh, people want to come to. But there always is a, a danger that you might get yourself into the red a little bit too early and uh, peak too early before the uh, the European season. Well, we, we we looked at that and we, we saw that it it was still possible to. Uh, to manage to, to be in uh, this race in a very good form and then uh, do the Tour de France in a, in a good shape. Uh, if you have a good condition now, you can still uh, keep it for two, three uh, months. And then uh, if you have uh, some, uh, some rest week and then you, uh, you build your trainings up again till the, the, the Tour de France, then it's, uh, then it's very perfect for the, for the moment. Well, you're a young bloke. You can, you can ride as hard as you like, as long as you like and stay fit and healthy, surely. Not as long as I like, but as long as I, I am young, then uh, uh, if you look at Jens Voigt, he's uh, 41 and he still rides very hard, so uh, he's, uh, he's an example for everybody. So where do you see yourself uh, in overall classification? You're here to win? I would like to win, but it's, I think with, with this, this, uh, these competitors it's very difficult to win, but if I can be in the, in the top 10 and, uh, in the end, I will, I will be very happy. As long as we have some uh, World Tour points, then we can be uh, happy and we can go home with a, with a good feeling. Have you enjoyed Australia so far? I always enjoy uh, Australia. It's uh, always nice weather and uh, nice people most of the time. <laughs> in the cars it's uh, something different, but uh, that could be us. Fantastic. Thanks for your time. Good luck for the rest of the tour. Thank you. You are watching Global Cycling Network.